Hi guys, it's not for we and today I've got some gameplay on the night map Zavod Graveyard Shift which is the night map on the CTE servers at the moment and uh, now I've just got this bit of clip here showing you the setup that I'm using it's the UMP9 with the FLIR night vision scope with suppressor and ergo grip with the black dice camos but yeah for today I'm going to be talking about the new things that the CTE has to offer at the moment and uh, the main patch notes which are on the CTE so what have they been doing? Well, they got the Zavod Graveyard Shift updates and now that's why I really wanted to play this map I just wanted to see these changes and see if the map looked any more polished and it does, the map looks amazing um, the night I, I'm just really looking forward to it coming into the full, full game because this is it's a release note so it should in theory uh, be in the full game uh, when they bring out this summer patch and as you can tell for yourself from the footage it looks like a really good map and uh, yeah the night maps especially the other two that they're, they're developing uh, will definitely be a good addition to the game they've made some tick rate changes which uh, the tick rate has been a issue for battlefield players from the beginning uh, since it came out and they're just trying to make the game smoother and make it easier for players to actually work out where they're aiming and it needs to be as smooth as they can make it really especially for such a big title like Battlefield it, it needs to be accurate as to where you're hitting and changing the tick rate is a good way around it and they made some more community map changes which is uh, good I, I really wanted to get some community map community map changes uh, in a video but there's no CTE servers running the community map at the moment which is a shame as well as uh, Dragon Valley I wanted to get some footage of that but yeah they're definitely polishing up the community map that should probably be ready by the end of next month I would have thought I mean it's it's made a lot of progress and they're making a good uh, good job of it so yeah that's good and there are some general gameplay updates that they have uh, visited and these include things that have probably been put into the spring patch and now they're trying to fix and probably the first one that I notice is TV, mi TV missiles uh, I just I used to use those especially on the uh, boats but uh, there's this dusting and the low damage and the difficulty to control them but they say they're going to revert them to UCAV physics and um, that's good I mean the TV missile was about right and then they messed it up so you know whatever they can do with that is always is always a good thing I think and the other main thing really to cover here is uh, flashbangs they definitely do need a retune and from what I've seen they uh, I don't have any footage but definitely looks improved current flashbang state means your whole screen goes all sort of whitey yellow color and you can't see anything for quite a few seconds and there's no counter however with this new feature you are able to counter it by looking away or turning away actually makes it disappear quicker but when you do see it there's a sort of a film grain kind of particle effect that looks really good so I do commend them for actually taking on board that the flashbangs went too far and they're uh, fixing it basically and uh, yeah I've just checked Sony Vegas and I'm coming near to the end uh, of my footage here I just if if you're wondering by the way this was just a slow motion rocket battle I was having I didn't understand how this killed me I actually dodged it and that death noise I kept hearing that. I think they need to tone those down a little bit as well. The death noises are there's a bit too many of them. But yeah, this has been not for we. Thanks for watching, and uh, this has been my CTE update for July 2015. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.